page 20 and 21, State of Nevada versus Belisario, C354165 and C362447. Good morning. Do we have public defender's office for the case? No, they've been removed from both. Oh, from both. Okay, I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> Council. Thank you. We have about three things to address. This is the return for competency. Mm -hmm. As you know, I have said prior to, I'm going to file two more things um, to address those one by one. I am going to file a motion for bail. You're aware of this. Um, the state's aware of this. I was not able to file it because of all the previous things going on, such as recent competency court. I'm not allowed to file it. When I have an affidavit to disqualify, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to file. Right. Now, I could literally go and file it tonight. It's ready. But I don't want to file it. And then when we come back, and it's a quick calendar setting, I believe everything that you are currently holding him on was discussed on records that are currently sealed. So my, my take is going to be, hey, statute, he's entitled to bail, period. And then you're like, Mr. Flab, you didn't address this, this, this. And I'm going to be like, I could, I don't know how to. So if you would be kind enough to unseal the records now, and I could address anything that I see in there before I file it, so we're not coming back two or three more times and we just have to come back one time, that would be great. I also know that there were emails that I don't believe you have seen, I have not seen, that might have been part of the reason that he is incarcerated without bail right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get those emails. I have talked to the attorney who... They were sent to allegedly, and she does believe she still has them, but it might be nice for you to say, turn those over to Mr. Flab. Okay. The emails were read word for word into the record. I, that's fine. If They'll I be the on record. the transcript. I don't know. Again, I, I wasn't there. I And I, once it's unsealed, she can certainly turn them over, but they were read word for word into the record. Which is great, but I had literally no clue that I they were until then, so... Just let, the records, let me get them, and then I won't file my motion today like I could, but I'll actually be able to do the work on it and file it by Sunday. All right. So you have authority from your client to officially request that I unseal those, that that hearing. He is nodding his head yes, and he can probably say yes also. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So um, we'll get those unsealed so you have access to them, and then you can file your motion when you're ready. Thank you. Um, All right. Assuming the unsealed records are typed up. Pardon? Assuming they're typed up. I know sometimes that while they're all recorded, there actually has to be someone physically. So you're them. asking for a transcript? No, I will actually make that request. I, I have to send the recorder a transcript request. I know how to do this. Right. I'm just saying they're usually not already typed up, but it takes a little bit to get right. them. But as soon as I get them, I'll be able to draft it pretty quickly, I hope. Okay. So motion for bail, any other motions you plan on filing? Yes, I am going to be filing a motion to set aside the Gilly plea agreement. As you know, that was the original appointment. So motion to withdraw his plea? Yes, Your Honor. Um, now, he was returned from competency court. I don't know if you looked at the mental health records. I think the state got them also. If not, I'm happy to provide. I'm happy to send them over. The, he is diagnosed twice when he goes to mental health by two different uh, licensed psychiatrists. Both of them, while they said he is competent via the Dusky, did have other diagnoses of mental issues, which are all, like all four of them that were listed are in the DSM. Um, I have been on my own working with the family a little bit, and I have gotten some of his previous metal, med medical records, which show various diagnoses, but there are two places, Southern Health, Southern Health in Nevada, and a therapist that he has given me the name of which will have more information. And this is, hey, you can see where I'm going with this already. Anytime someone has read their guilty plea agreement, okay, so are you on any medicines right now which might affect you or anything? Mm -hmm. Well, one thing that I'm scratching my head is, how can we never say, well, is there any medicines you should be on? Because based off of just the two, and I can send it to the court also if you don't have them, the two diagnoses. I have them. Okay. He has mental disorders where he should be on medicine, and I believe that was going on also when he entered his guilty plea agreement. And instead of just taking the two 30-minute evaluations, I would like a little time so I can contact Southern Health and that way, Southern Health, Southern Health, excuse me, and they'll probably give me a stack of stuff like that. That way, when you do look at the motion to set aside, whether you decide for us or not, it's got some meat to it. Does that make sense? Okay. 
So are you asking for a briefing schedule right now? Do you have any uh, time frame in mind or do we I, need to I'm set another set? For hopefully a month for me to file. I was going to file before then, but I have these two and I'm like, I can send out my request. Sometimes requests come back very quickly. Next weekend, I'm out of town, which is when I do my paperwork. But then I figure I have two more weekends to work on it, assuming they get me the documentation pretty quickly. Also, his first. Hold on a sec. Not a All right. So we are down a recorder in my department right now. So uh, what she's telling me is it may take um, as much as a week to get those transcripts to you. Because we'll have to send them out. Yeah. Okay. So. so with oh. regard to the motion for bail, uh, obviously you can file that whenever you're ready. Um, the motion to withdraw a plea, I think 30 days, um, knowing how long it typically takes to get medical records, especially these type, you may be being a little um, optimistic at 30 days. I am. And I, I think if I have not received them in two weeks when I return from my trip, like in two weekends, I will let your JA know and I will let the state know so that if I still haven't received them, maybe we can adjust it then so the state can work their schedule and everything. We're not just coming back from like, Your Honor, you still haven't Right. Them. Okay. All right. And then uh, so your motion to withdraw a plea will be due in 30 days from today. Yeah. Oh, you. And how long for the state's response? Two weeks, please. Okay. Two weeks from that. Any reply time? Five days. Okay, one week for reply. And then the hearing will be a week after that. Okay, so here's your dates. November 14th. November 28th. December 5th. And the hearing is December 12th, 10 a.m. Thank you. Um, and I think the last thing to address is Bradley has asked for a settlement conference. I did ask the state. The state is believing, saying no thank you. Um, with that said, he's putting it on the record that he had one to try to resolve his okay. handful of open cases. There's no point to do a settlement conference when you have a guilty plea agreement that is in place that has not been withdrawn. The cases are already negotiated. Settlement conferences are for purposes of negotiating cases that are still active and ongoing, and this is not one of those at this time. So the state does not see the need to participate in a settlement conference while we still have guilty pleas there. Okay, so I just throwing this out there. Um, page 21, he, I believe he hasn't pled on yet. We're still in. That's supposed to be dismissed pursuant to negotiations in the ones he's already oh. pled to. Well, then I see that makes sense. Okay. In addition, the other two that are currently pending in justice court, the threatening letters are supposed to be dismissed pursuant to negotiations in the theft case. The other one that's currently pending, the state's been on record several times indicating it would dismiss that if these guilty pleas stood with the restitution being ordered in the theft case. All right. Then that makes sense. That's so very brief. The reason I would say a settlement conference would have benefit is because while a guilty plea has been entered, and Grant, we're trying to set aside, even if it is upheld, it is still a right to argue. And if it could be possibly resolved, and I know the state is going to be asking for some time. I know he doesn't want some, but if it could be resolved with maybe the help of a senior judge prior. Okay. Um, I'm always all about settlement conferences. However, um, I think the state has a very good reason for feeling like it's not going to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. So based on the reasonable uh, unwillingness for the state to participate. I'm not going to order one under those conditions. So thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Do you have a status check on C362447 for 1212 as well? Yes. Okay. And you will need to submit a written order for me to sign um, for, the for the transcripts. For the transcripts. Right. Okay. Requesting the transcripts. Thank I'll, you. I'll make sure I help them with that. <laughs> okay. Page three, state of Nevada.